Hey guys, just Janny. Today I'm going to show you how I made my spider necklace. You need two matching forks with long tines. Um, and by long, I mean really long, about two inches to get this effect. Uh, this set I have here is maybe an inch and three quarters. So it, I have made them, it, it's okay, but you, they're kind of just little chubby spiders. You don't get these really long legs, that type of effect. So I'm going to be using this set here. And you can see one of them is cut off and flattened because I was using it the other end for another project. So if you have any just fork heads laying around, you can sure use those. You don't have to have the handle on it. So first thing we're going to do is flatten out your fork and then I'll show you how to start bending the legs over. Okay, we have our flattened out forks. Just go ahead and put one. I'm doing it with the pattern facing forward. If you haven't watched my videos before, I have a hole in my bench top, so the fork goes all the way through. So just need to leave a little bit of the bottom sticking up. As you can see, we're gonna bend all the way from down here. I have my bale making pliers, a stainless steel straw. You can get these at Walmart. And you can see we're gonna start with bending these legs around two to the top and two to the bottom. So let's just start on the outside and I'm putting my straw all the way down. It's not gonna bend from the very bottom. If you've done this before, you know they're a little bit stiff. So just kind of keep lifting it up until it's, it wants to bend. And it's gonna be almost 90 degrees there, so. Stand that back up so I can tell. That looks all right. And then this one, also almost 90, but we want it to come around the outside of this one. So that means we're not gonna be at the very bottom. We're gonna have to bend up here so it goes above this one. So if you need to, just lift your straw up a little and bend that one over. And then let's do this outside one. Remember, we're gonna come up here so it comes over the top of that. Okay, so that's the first one. And then we're going to bend the other one and they're gonna point the opposite directions. Okay, I brought my necklace and you can see here how the legs bend up and it looks like he has, maybe I should say she because this is my egg sack. She has little feet and I've curled the, these two around just so that the chain could go through it and it looks like she's hanging on. So you can see what we're going to do here. So I use my bale making pliers and I think I'll start with this long one. 
let's make the the front foot first you can see if I go this way I've curled it out and it's just a small tight curl so I'm gonna have it wrap around the small side here Oops, am I even on the camera? My other foot's getting in the way a little bit, so I'm just going to bend this. Just bend it over a little bit so it's out of the way. Need to close it a little more. There we go. That's that's pretty good. Okay. And then for the middle of her leg, you can see it's a pretty high bend there. Okay, so I was bending this. Um, I'm going to change this here a little. I'm going to put the small side up here where the foot's going to be. And I want this bend in the center, meaning centered between this and the foot. So put the big side about there. I have these, uh, I don't even remember what they're for, but just a little flat plier and to bend her foot up. But you can see this side isn't lifted up yet, so we still need to do that side. Um, I'm sorry, that is Chica is helping me here. can't get that one bent I need to I'm gonna move this leg out of the way a little bit so I'm just gonna kind of bend that down just a smidgen so I can get my pliers in there um, you can actually bend these on your vise instead of taking them off and going to your workbench might be easier that way so you have some leverage so there we go we got that part and then the next leg it also has the same kind of bend it's not um, it's not nearly as pronounced so first I'm going to give her a little foot so I'm just bending a tiny bit up right there and we'll do the same thing I put the small end by her foot, the bigger end in the middle. Go ahead and give that a bend. It's not as sharp of a bend, so we'll just do a little at a time. Switch sides. And I can already tell I have these, you know, uh, almost 90 and kind of curved in a little and this is more straight up than this one this necklace looked like this to begin with all of this bringing it in and tweaking it i did after i got both pieces um, done uh, bent and cut that way i could set them side by side and tweak it so for now we're just going to keep going let's make the bottom leg both bottoms are the same we're not gonna make a curled foot there so give her, her 
a little bit of foot first. See, it's just a little bit. Same as before, put the small end by the foot, put the big side in the middle, a little bend, change sides, put the small side on the other side. There we go. And this one, it's a little bit more pronounced on this leg. See, I already gave her a foot, so let's put that about in the middle. I put a, a deeper bend here. You can always add more later or subtract. I've had to do that. So same thing, switch sides. Bend that up. Because you see right now, it doesn't sit flat at all. When, when we have both sides done and it's cut, we'll set it flat and we'll make everything match up. So that side's done for now. Let's switch, do the other side. Okay, we have both sides pretty much similar. So now we're gonna do some tweaking before we cut them off. And the only reason to do some now is once you cut it off, they're a little harder to hold on to and bend the legs. So I like how my legs are bent in up here and these are a little more upright instead of out. So I'm gonna go ahead and bend these in. Flatten this one out a little bit. This one is actually really good. All the feet are touching. I don't want that one touching, so I'm gonna tip it up a bit. If I can, I don't know if that'll go under there. So right now, I'm kind of liking where everything's at. It's pretty good. I might want to bring this leg in closer, but otherwise it's pretty good. So let me show you how I mark it to drill the holes. For this next part, we need to mark it so we can drill the holes. And what I did was I, I don't want too much here because then, it's really a wide spider. I mean, that's cool. You can make a really wide spider if you want to. I just wanted mine more long and skinny. So I just kind of guesstimated. <laughs> It doesn't matter uh, how much, I just picked a, a line and I went 
wider than I wanted. I'm going to end up right about the four, but I went wider because sometimes when you cut it, it doesn't cut straight and then you have to grind it and you're gonna end up with not enough space because when you drill your holes, it's gonna get weak. So I just try to go a little more than what I actually want so that if I don't cut straight or have a problem with it, I have some room to spare. So like I said, I wanted it to end up about on the four, so I kind of went over here. It doesn't have to be exact, just, just so we have a place to cut it. I use my mini bandsaw to cut mine. You can use your hacksaw, whatever you got. Let's go get these cut, grind them smooth, and then we'll come back and show you how I marked them and drilled them. Before I grind mine down, I wanted to take a second and show you what I was talking about. When I said I wanted mine to land at about the four, and then I left extra, you can see how crooked it is right there and that's why I left that extra room because had I cut on that line and it was crooked I wouldn't have hardly any room down here to drill my hole and you know this one's didn't cut very straight at all either but now I can use my grinder so I just went ahead and marked it where I wanted it and I'm gonna grind that down and another thing, talking about tweaking this before we finish it off, this one is perfect. It, it sits flat, it doesn't wobble. This one is still wobbly. All the feet, well I should say the three feet touch the ground. This one, I like it raised up because it leaves room for the chain. So I'm going to tweak this side a little more it should sit flat, so I need to bring this leg down, this leg down, this leg up. So I'll do some tweaking on mine and grind this down. And then I'll come back and mark the holes and drill them and show you how I put it together. Okay, I've got mine kind of tweaked. I've ground this down so they're even. Next I kind of marked where I wanted them. Because there's three equally spaced spots, that's just where I drilled my holes. You can see in mine over here. So I kind of marked, if I can get my pen to write, Okay, or not. There we go. Just those three spots. And then take something straight. If you have a center punch, go ahead and use that. I used my little metal ruler here just to keep it straight. I mean, you can see my dot is too close to this hole. I don't actually want to drill it there because then uh, my leg will probably fall off. So I'm just trying to kind of see what's best. And use the center punch. mark it get it lined up again if it moved on you I feel like this one is also too close to that hole I'll make sure I'm getting it all the way back against the straight edge so 
That way when you drill, your bit's not gonna wobble all over. It'll start in that hole. So go ahead and do the same thing to the other side and go drill your holes. Okay, we've got our holes drilled. Next, I put in nine millimeter jump rings. You do have to open them a little farther than you would if you were putting them on a just a chain, but they do fit with room to spare. So nine millimeters. And then I just put my chain through and added this like you would a charm. Just put this on, bead I found on a jump ring and put it in the middle because I wanted her to look like she had an egg sack. So that's it. I'll let you finish up. Uh, polish it or tumble it before you put in your jump rings. That way they don't uh, come off or get broken. So polish it up, jump rings, put on your chain, add a bead if you like. And like I said, you can continue tweaking until you get it the way you want it. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe for more tutorials like this one. Thanks for watching.